We've created our accounts receivable database and our customers table. Now we're ready to enter data. The current record indicator tells us which record is selected and the blinking insertion point is in the current field, in this case, customer ID. The record is empty, so we begin by typing in a customer ID number. And when we do, the current record indicator changes from a triangle to a pencil. That's indicating that the selected record is now being edited. Also, a new empty record marked with an asterisk is automatically added to the end of the table. We tab to the next field, last name, and type this customer's last name. Then we tab to the first name field. To make our work even easier, Access provides a feature called autocorrect. It will automatically correct common misspellings and even some typing errors. Watch what happens when I mistakenly capitalize the first two letters of this name. I tab to the next field and oh, autocorrect fixes the error. In the phone number field, we type that in. And notice that the sample field that we chose for the phone number is formatted to display the parentheses and dashes. To move to the empty record, we press Tab. The pencil icon disappears. This indicates that a record we've added or changed has been saved on disk. We call this posting the record. Access always saves or posts modifications to a record automatically as soon as we move to a different record. Now I'll type in a few more records, and in the next topic, we're going to show you ways to work with tables.